Hello everybody, welcome to this live session on World Tiger Day, which is uh, July 29th. A tiger is India's national animal and yet it's an endangered species. Although India has 70% of the world's tiger population, according to the latest census, it's still a protected animal in this country. Now, India was once teeming with tigers, but drastic overhunting, deforestation has reduced its numbers uh, to, to a, a low of 1411 back in 2006, although the number has improved now to about 3500, but is that good enough? We asked that question to Dattatreya Ghosh, who's joining us today. Thank you very much, sir. So I would like to understand why tigers are endangered and what's reducing their numbers so drastically. There, there are a lot of points if you want to discuss that why tigers are getting decreased day by day. For example, the basic and the main point is poaching, second man conflict, uh, deforestation and making of development of industries in the forest range. These are the basic points for which the tiger population is decreasing day by day. But if you take care of from the 2006 census up to now, census, there is an increase of lot of tigers. Now, at this moment, there are 2,500 wild tigers in forest reserves. And there are found at this 42 to 43 tiger reserves all over the India, where government is taking very, very sensitive things so that the tiger population can be controlled and managed. That's encouraging. So, so do you think, sir, that since 1970s, that was when Project Tiger was launched, and until now, uh, our conservation efforts have uh, borne fruit? Uh, our conservation efforts are going through, but they are also in the middle. You may be aware, sometimes in the middle of Rajasthan, in a tiger reserve of Sarik, suddenly there are 8 to 10 tigers, suddenly it got vanished. Forest department also doesn't know. But when you ask them that where are the tigers gone when they are trying to search the tigers, then they came to know that the 8 to 10 years they have been poached from the Arisha tiger reserve. So no one knows where they have gone, they have vanished. So like this, a lot of tigers are getting vanished from the forest department by the help of the, by the poachers. So it is totally a very bad thing at this moment that poachers are also now also they are operating in a very good network and killing the tigers. So, um, we have ambitions of uh, increasing, doubling the number of tigers to, to uh, by 2022. Do you think our targets will be achieved? Uh, we are we are trying. The forest department with the with the local government people, they are trying our level best so that the tiger population gets increased and the healthy tiger population comes there. And for that, government is pumping huge amount of money with the forest people and lot of more. Technically, appropriated things are coming like these uh, camera traps, like uh, special kind of instruments, like this uh, uh, best instrument which are putting inside the forest so that the man element conflict becomes less, so that the tiger population can increase. You just talked about man animal conflict. That is something also I want to ask you about. That you know, th there are f uh, about 4,000 tigers in the wild in India, but so many human beings, over 1 mi billion of us. Uh, there, that on one hand, there has to be a natural, this is not a natural balance, but then again, in forest areas, the, the, the balance is very fragile. You cannot have a surplus of tigers because they come in conflict with humans, then they are killed. Uh, how are governments tackling this problem? See, now, uh, before that, uh, what you asked me the question, there are a lot of villages inside the tiger reserves, sometimes that. Now, the government is trying to get out the villages out of the forest preserve and they have been settled outside the forest. But then also, but then also once the tiger population people, the cattle and goats are going inside the forest, on the fringe of the forest. So, what what does this do? Once it goes inside the forest, there are man animals because man also goes to fetch them back from the forest. Mm -hmm. So there is a constant, there is a conflict between a tiger and a man. And once a tiger eats a human being, it becomes a man-eater. Then it yeah. doesn't hit with this deer and other things. For, for, for example, if a tiger um, catches a bison or something like that, if he catches one bison, in seven days he will not take any food. With that only it will manage. But the, the thing properly outside that, but when this uh, small uh, villages people with the goats coming inside the forest, there is a constantly a confliction between them. And for that reason, there is a kill. And the tiger gets very much And then the government comes to kill the tiger. 
So this is a never ending story. So it focuses on the books and villages with the forest. That's why I am telling that the now government is taking care of these villages. They are giving jobs to the village people so that they don't go inside the forest. They have been accepted by the forest department. Let them work in hand, hand to hand so that they can also earn money so they don't go inside the forest and kill these wild animals. Yes, sir. Your NGO works with people, civilians also, to engage them in uh, conservation work. How do you think regular people like us can help? Surely. We, we, our NGOs work with the common people also. Because our NGOs, are the, our NGO, there are a lot of members of our NGO who are all working in Bangalore, on software companies, big, big companies. So whenever they get time, they come with our NGO, with the forest, inside the forest to work with that. So for example, for a crowd management uh, thing, there is a, for example, in Bandipur, there is a temple inside the core of the forest. So if there are some... At the time of the people, at the time of something, there will be huge rush. So our NGO with the people manages the crowd, so that the crowd management can be done. But doesn't the people, the local people who comes for the temple, does not throw any garbage, does not throw any bottles inside the forest. This can be, this can be public. The more the people are inside the thing, the more they know about the field. We feel the love the forest. There is hundred percent chance the poachings will get less, and the forest will be more increasing. There are a lot of rich people who are now trying to buy the outside land, buying the land with their money, and they are giving the same land to the forest department as a free of donation, where the forest department is putting trees and making it comes inside the forest. Oh, wow. Uh, before I come to slightly, uh, you know, more uh, lighter topics, I want to know from you, sir, that there's this concerning issue about tigers in captivity, not just zoos. Uh, I'm talking about tigers keep kept as pets in the u.s there are more tigers as in captivity than there are tigers in the wild they say uh, so yes. it, uh, same this is not conservation is it no no this is not conservation people people are there uh, rich people are there in dubai and u.s who keeps the tiger as pets so and you are, you are a temple, in thailand, <coughs> a temple in thailand but they breed tigers like anything and after that, they used to uh, drug the tigers to take photographs with the tourists and they beat the tigers. And when the tigers are very, very, very baby age, they used to try, they used to transfer the tigers or fly to US or Dubai. That the big, big people are buying the tigers and keep the pets in their house. This is not, uh, this is, it is, it is like a cat. But if you want to see wild tiger, you have to mention, come and see in the forest. Our forest, yes, tell me. Not, not just tigers in captivity, there's also this uh, trend of trophy hunting. I think that's always been there, but now it's become a, a problem. Yeah, stop. Now India is totally illegal to ha to not only um, uh, kill a tiger, but also to kill a bird also in the forest. Now yes. totally illegal, but this trophy hunting things are now also going in Africa, Canada. It's a huge business. People are bringing the lions, people are bringing the bears. And they are killing uh, the bears and the lions as a trophy hunting thing. In India, uh, it's not there. Uh, humans, I think, are the, they. I think not. Humans are the only creatures that hunt or kill uh, other animals for pleasure. They're, That's they're the main uh, creatures who are destroying the everything ecosystem of the world. Humans. That's really something terrible. Um, what do you think, sir? What do we lose if we lose a tiger? The total environmental system will crack down if we lose the tigers. So the total environmental system will crack down because once tigers are not there, the jungles will be full of deers. Once the jungles are full of deers, the deers will come outside the forest and try to eat the, all these agricultural things like maize, like rice. So the farmers have, cannot control that. As the tigers are there, they are eating the deers. The deer population is getting controlled, so it is not coming outside. So it's totally connected in the food chain and other environmental chain. So if no tigers, all things will crash. Uh, Mr. Bush, how, what are some of the things we perhaps don't know about tigers? Uh, tiger, tiger is a very solitary animal. Tiger, uh, tiger is a very shy animal. He doesn't want to stay alone. He doesn't want to stay alone. The weight of a male tiger is 350 kilos to 400 kilos, whereas the weight of a female tiger is 250 kilos to 300 kilos. The, the litter of a tiger varies from 2 to maximum 7. Tiger 
uh, tiger um, as as per the land the lions hunts in a group but tiger hunts only alone so it's a totally solitary animal you cannot see tiger suddenly even if, if the tiger comes out while going crossing the forest you can see the tiger moving there but you cannot see immediately like a lion that all they are moving inside the forest like a group you can see only one tiger Right. I told you that one male tiger is connected with five female female tigers. That is the territory. So that territory is one tiger territory. I see. So have you ever encountered tiger encountered a tiger in, in the wild? Yes, yes. Um, uh, with my NGO, when I work for NGO, I go for census inside the forest. Okay. At time, same time of census, I have watched the tiger very front of me. The five tigers in tigers in clubs. Uh, how was that experience? Can you uh, recall? I cannot explain that. A, you cannot explain. When, uh, it is a very beautiful thing. Means when you uh, see a tigress with his babies and the morning sunlight falling on their skin, you cannot uh, imagine. It's unexplainable. You cannot explain that the happiness you find in that system. I'm sure, sir, and I hope I get to experience that one day. Uh, it was really a pleasure to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope we achieve the target of doubling our tiger population by 2022 and more young people are drawn into conservation. We, we request your part of the work that people like you and your NGO do. Yes, we request young people like you should come and join our NGO so that they can go in the forest and not only not only seeing about doing some sensors, but there are a lot of other sorts of the forest, not only sensors, uh, foot patrol, snare combing. Uh, fire protection, a lot of other forests. Let people come, let them have a look at the forest. Once you come, you love the forest. That is my Absolutely. thing. Love the forest. Absolutely. I, I will make sure I do that next time I'm in Bangalore where you're based out of. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.